Portia. Elizabeth, hi. Hi, I haven't seen you since the wedding. Yeah. We have a lot to catch up on. I am so sorry. Oh, then, then you've heard. We're quite the pair, aren't we? I'm sure you've heard by now that this could be my last day here. Oh, not if I have anything to say about it. You gave such a beautiful toast at the wedding. I just wish there was a happily ever after part. Hey, you don't owe me or anyone else an explanation. What happened between you and Curtis is your business. But if and when you're ready to talk about it, I'm here to listen. You kind of have your own problems going on right now, though, <laughs> too, right? <laughs> well, then maybe we can just help each other. I kept a secret. A big secret. Not just from Curtis, but from the person that I love most in the world. Trina. And I don't know if they're ever going to forget me. It's a long time to keep a secret. You can go ahead and say it. I kept life-altering information from the two people that I love the most. I absolutely will not say that. I know what it's like to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. At least what feels right to you. I just don't think anything feels right to Curtis and Trina. Not now. They're hurting, and you have to accept that. I do. And eventually, it... they'll see that you're hurting, too. And once Trina's paternity is answered, you can all begin to heal. Unless they don't want to know? Well, nothing will change the fact that Trina sees Marcus as her father, and she always will. Yeah, yeah of course not, but... I mean, if Curtis and Trina turn out to be biologically related, don't you think she'll have room in her heart for them both? Ooh, you're just re being real optimistic, and I hope so, but... <sighs> optimistic for a woman who's about to face the review board, you mean? Now, you should know me well enough by now. <laughs> I don't listen to rumors. Well, you should, because all of them are true. I know now that helping Nicholas was the absolute wrong thing to do. But at the time, I convinced myself that harboring Esme was the lesser of evils. The time that really bothers me is in between Officer Cabrera being murdered and Esme's escape, when I knew she couldn't be the hook, or at the very least, she couldn't have killed Officer Cabrera. I should have come forward then. I should have gone to the police and just told them everything, but I didn't. Because I convinced myself that if I, if I got arrested, my boys would suffer. I convinced myself that Trina and Curtis were better off not knowing that after 20 years, that it, it would cause more of a mess in their life if I finally did tell the truth. I don't know why we do this to ourselves. This is so crazy. I, I mean, we come up with these justifications. It makes no sense. I know. It really doesn't. I would offer to be a character witness for you. But since I have um, a little bit of character issues <laughs> on my own that I'm trying to balance, I don't know if I would do any good. Well, just knowing I have a friend in this place. Always. Good luck. Thank you. Big day. Yeah. How you feeling? Nervous, but resolute. Hoping the review board will see past my mistakes. For what it's worth, I'm here for you. As a friend, whatever you need. <laughs>